hey guys finally a sale um finally um let's see where do i start first of all hi um second of all my job my teaching is just it's going <laughs> i mean the skates were thrown on and it's like zoom 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 <clears throat> so anyway but it's oh my gosh it's so much fun i'm just in love um, with my new post and, and my old post as well. Um, I still have my, uh, you know, <laughs> my 16 and 17 year old high schoolers. Um, they're, they're just a lot of fun. Um, I can tell you this, one of the girls <clears throat> at the private high school, um, I came, we came in one morning and she's like, oh, professor, she's like, I, you know, I play, I do Sims. Do you know what Sims are? And I said, yeah, of course. And, um, before she can even get it out, one of her peers pointed, ratted on her and said, you know what she did? She spent $700. And I looked at her and I'm like, $700 on a Sim? She's like, yeah. She's like, because I wanted her to have a purple bathing suit, purple braids and a heart shaped bed and some other stuff. And I was just like, oh my goodness, do, do your parents know you're spending that kind of money <laughs> on video games? Oh my gosh, not the Sim. I guess it's a video game, right? Anyway, they are a lot of fun. Um, and so, yeah, the semester is underway. I finally got the you-know-what COVID, and luckily, I didn't have, you know, guys, honestly, it, I, I felt like 100% good. The only... Um, issue was that I had, um, you know, kind of like my throat felt warm. I never got a sore throat, but it just felt kind of warm. I did have a cough, um, and a very light, light headache, you know, um, and then, you know, to, of course, tested. And luckily I haven't been around my mom, the ma, I haven't been around her at all. So, I mean, I've been around her, but I always wear my masks and, at the time that I think I was the most contagious, my sister said usually it's the first two to three days um, I was not around my mom. So that made me happy, um, made me happy. And I think I caught it from my husband because he was sick um, the week before I started to feel a little, a little icky and he had a really bad cough. And, you know, when I asked him to, to describe how his throat felt, he said it felt like he had glass in his throat and he was coughing all over the place and just didn't feel well at all. He lost his voice um, for a little while. Um, and it wasn't like within, I would say five days after that, um, that's when I just started to have like the warm throat, the cough and a light headache. And I did have a fever um, as well. So, but I think I had COVID when it first came out um, because I, you know, I never, I don't ever knock on wood, get sick. I do have terrible allergies though, seasonal allergies and the ragweed in September, sometimes late August and then in February. And so, um, I've never had the flu. I've never had pneumonia. I rarely, rarely, rarely even get colds from time to time, you know, every now and then, but not really. And maybe cause that's cause we don't have any little little kids and grandkids running around here because we all know that they're little germ hosts. <laughs> um, but I am around the, the high schoolers. Um, and they, you know, a couple of them, several of them have had COVID. And so anyway, I got it. It's over with. I'm glad it's over with. Um, and I, my husband survived. He was worse off than, than I felt. And, um, we survived. So yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, what else is I going to tell you guys? So sale, <laughs> Let me just start off. I have, I put some videos in, I'll put some videos in between here to show you where, how I cut some of the fabric, not how I cut it, but, um, I think I showed you guys an image of the fabrics that were lined up. These, a lot of these fabrics came from a lady who was a seamstress and did a lot of sewing and it was an estate sale and I have the footage. I just need to put it together. It was the last estate sale my mom and I went to at the very beginning of this year. Um, it was so cold. Oh my God, it was so cold, but we weathered the storm and made it out. Um, and it was a really, really good, um, 
um, good uh, estate sale. So I scored a lot of fabric, a lot of pieces of fabric. And some of these I've had, had already, and, and most of them are from um, the lady's house. I didn't wash some of her stuff because, well, she, they had, well, the way they had it set up was that you could get all the fabric you want. And then by the time the sale days come, like you could stuff as much as you want um, into a bag and just pay a specific amount. So I did something, you know, sort of um, was sort of jumped on that because that was a good deal. This did not end up in the fabric packs, but it, you know, I probably will sell this like by itself or I don't know. It's got a lot of foxing, a lot of stains on it. Um, and a lot of, you know, it's been sitting up. Um, their house was really old and you'll see it when I, you'll see it when, sorry, interruptions. You'll see it when I, um, when I put the video, um, what it looked like. It reminded me so much again of my great aunt's house, very mid century. Um, you could tell that they probably bought it in the early 60s maybe late 50s and just lived in it it was so lived in um it, it was really 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 amazing so these are the fabric packs um i i have i think i have eight of these um this is what they look like and they're all pretty much the same um they're just chock full of they've got sort of a um an Easter vibe, there's springtime in here, there's 4th of July in here, so everything, all the months coming up. Um, and so I'll just, I've got one, two, three, I think I have eight of these. Um, and the price on these, you'll kind of have to just write the price down, guys, of everything. Um, and once something is sold out, I'll just put it in my um, in the description box below um, if, if something sells out or maybe I'll update it and sort of put um, how much of whatever I have left. Anything I don't sell here, um, I will stick it in the Etsy shop, but you know my motto and I've said this from way back when, anything that I don't sell here that goes to my Etsy shop, the price does go up significantly. So it's always better to buy things here and I'm selling this, um, this is a whole PayPal sale, so it's just PayPal. Um, and what you'll need to do if you find something or see something you're interested in, um, send me an email. My email is in the description box. It's gtdesigns at etsy at gmail.com. I have not changed it to Renee's edit again. Um, but just send me your email address um, so that I can send you a PayPal invoice. And make sure to put your real name, your real information in there, um, as well as your YouTube channel. If you have a YouTube channel, I would love to promote you as well. Um, and go take a look and see what you've got going on. So anyway, without further ado, um, oh, and I will mail these out. Now these are going to be, how much did I put these for? These are going to be a $15, um, with shipping. So the shipping is included in it. Um, and these are pretty, they're pretty weighty. So they're probably going to be about seven to eight dollars to ship. Um, and that's already in the $15 price, right? So I'm not looking to make like tons of money off of this stuff. You know, I just want to get rid of it. Um, and then of course I wanted to get it so that I could share it with you guys and you could, you know, use it in your projects. So I'll just kind of flip through. There is a ton. There's strings everywhere too. And the pieces, these, these are called, I'm calling these, what am I calling these? Um, Springfield scrap fabric panels. So they're scrap fabric panels, right? So they're big enough for you to, you know, include like pages if you wanted to put pages in there. Um, um, you know, you could do flips with these. You could do um, pockets with them, cover the insides of books with them, um, belly bands, stash build fabric stash build um if you're wanting to add some fabrics to your stash that you don't have um you can just do all sorts of things tabs thank you cards journal cards book edges um slow stitching that kind of thing okay but i tried to make the pieces they're not all exactly the same size but um they they have some really cute little images on them and some of them you can still see the edging there where this is really, um, this is old stuff. I mean, she had a ton of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Just really pretty, pretty pieces. Um, lots of springtime flowers. And again, this is a scrap, fabric scrap um, panel. 
panels so they're they're you know they're they're big enough to where you could cover the inside of some and some of them I just cut them random I didn't measure anything I'm not measuring anything um, and they all are pretty much the same there might be one or two pieces that didn't make it in one sorry the hubs is over there making all kinds of noises um, there might be one or two pieces that did make it in um, a pack but I made up for it some kind of way or other but they really to be honest they're all pretty much the same really nice um, piece for the 4th of July um, very cottony that's what it feels like to me or linen I don't know lots of springtime Easter remnants just different pretty pieces this is where she was sewing um, oh my gosh and while I'm flipping through this guys I found I think I may have said it on another video that I haven't posted yet. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I found my great aunt's um, bag of some some more, more sewing stuff. But it's mostly her rayon stuff. This is houndstooth. This is really old. I think maybe one of the bags may not have gotten a piece of that. Um, and I found some bell bottoms in there. Really pretty pieces. Great for the 4th of July slow stitching lots of fabrics uh, fabric florals um, country and farm or fourth of july kitchen retro cookbook here's a piece of blue jean she had um, in her her um her stash and there is some faux ticking this feels like seersucker kind of ticking it's really pretty Lots of blues and reds and whites you can play with for the 4th of July. Lots of pretty Easter colors, too. That's really pretty. Very thin. There's some candy stripe, pinstripe, or whatever you want to call that, in red. And then there's some in pink. A larger piece of gingham. And I love this for 4th of July. This is really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, really nice reds whites blues there's some yellow golds in there all kinds of um, pieces to play with for the upcoming upcoming um holidays and um <clears throat> and spring of course so there's that one this one feels like feed sack this she had made like a i don't know what she was making out of it like a big pillowcase or something it's kind of stiffy though I don't know. And then this one is purple gingham. Easter colors again. Lavender. And then I had a strip of this old sheet in pink. Cotton. Really pretty. And this is a really large piece here um, with lots of flowers. Different florals. I probably should close that other window over there so you guys can see that. Hopefully it's showing up okay lots of flowers pretty um springtime again and then of course that easter feel this one has some pretty little knots in it so that's kind of cool hang, hang on guys i need to okay so there's that that's lavenders and yellows really really festive springtime festive and green background this is kind of stiffy i don't know what she was doing with this um, but it's really, really nice. Very um, um, durable. Red, white, and blue again. Here is a piece of pink gingham. Back to spring and Easter. Summertime. Oh, I love this piece. When I was putting this in, I was like, oh, did I keep a piece of that for myself? Because I am going to participate in. I don't think I did, though. But this is this feels like true feed sack here. I am going to participate in um, Rachel and Sarah and their mom, uh, Juju's um, journey, uh, journey, what is it called? Journal of Stitchery, I think is what it's called. I, I It's just, it looks like so much fun, but I have to make sure my life is, oh my goodness, it's just, there's just so much going on. So much going on. This is really pretty for Easter, but I am going to participate in that. I've got several projects that, that ladies have challenged um, us with um, that I will eventually catch up to. And then there's some red hearts and red flowers. 
is this really pretty for a country look or again fourth of july cooking kitchen kind of retro-y um feel that's a true red right there um boys get down get down i have to get down choco <laughs> um and then this piece here some little patchwork these um fabric packs would also be good for patchwork and then i put in some pretty dingy white cream um linens um that she had and i reserved a pack of of these um to sell just as a pack on their own really pretty cotton um old stuff this is the old stuff it feels so good um of course things like that always remind me of my great grandmother and there's another dingy piece there it's got some yellowing here i'm going to close that window over there in a second because it looks kind of bluish but anyway this is really nice too this is good for stitching on i think that kind of thing and there's that one and then i showed this on a video this was also one of the pieces that i thought would be fun to stitch down into um I don't know what kind of material it is. Love these florals here as well. That's like a, this was a tablecloth. And then I put in some of, some of the, um, these images now. I had reserved these for my, um, uh, so what did I call them? My stitchery kits, right? And I had a lot of them left over. So each one of the packs got some sort of design um, on there on this kind of fabric and this is this is really nice um, very quality good quality uh, stuff and there's a really light piece I love that for stitching on it's like linen cotton I guess I don't know the difference and then there was a whole set of sheets um, I'll put some pictures at the end of the video and um she just had I think I yeah let me show you guys I um, I took a picture of these but she had a whole set of sheets. And so um, I just took it. Guys, this is just like king size. Look at all that. Right. So I just gave you guys like a, you know, a decent piece of it. Um, and this probably was the fitted sheet. This is the top sheet. So if you're interested in some extra of that, it's so pretty. It's got teal and yellow and all these beautiful bright colors and flowers and eastery and springtime it's just really pretty this teal right here is darker than what it looks on the on my camera um and then it's got these pretty leaves like those would be fun to stitch down into as well um excuse me <clears throat> so there's that and all the packs have that and this you probably have seen before. I scored this a while ago at that um, shop in Arlington, the thrift store I go to. There, um, I've got that in yellow somewhere. I thought I had some of this in yellow. But anyway, there's that. So more flowers, more Easter. And then I put some of this blue um, piece in here, a piece of this, because I thought these little houses would be. I love how the ladies are stitching little houses Um and leaves and trees and little, you know, um, country idyllic scenes and things like that. Um, I think it's kind of fun. So I put a piece of that in there and those are all different. Every one of them is different. And then, um, I had this a long time ago. Um, I cut it up and gave, uh, someone who bought some, uh, Easter books for me, uh, holiday. What am I trying to say? Yeah, they were Easter books, bunny books. Um, and so I cut this up and everybody got a decent piece of that. I didn't have a whole lot of it left because I've used it to put in as a uh, thank yous, but it's just got little egg patterns on there for Easter. Really pretty teals and purples, lavenders and yellows. And then more flowers. I love this. This would be really pretty to stitch down into as well. These little um, corn blue flowers there. Really pretty. And or is that periwinkle? I don't know. I have no idea. They've changed all the names of colors anyway. This is a gorgeous piece. I saved some of this for me for my, um, when I start working on my uh, stitching uh, Roxy's Creation Journal. Oh, you can't really see how pretty that is. It's a gorgeous true green. 
Oh, it's so lovely. I Somebody has some of this. I put some of it in something um, as a thank you. Somebody, when they bought something for me. And then finally, this dramatic um, blue and green, uh, purpley blue um, and green, very dramatic roses, um, I thought would be a lot of fun um, in case you wanted to do a different color scheme instead of Easter or July or, you know, springtime stuff. And last but not least, I stamped on, and I'll put some pictures in here at the end, I stamped on a old, one of those old white um, cotton pieces that I, that's in here. And this was a full one, a full panel. Um, and so I just stamped all over it and um, cut it up and, so that way, if you don't have any of that really cool Tim Holtz um, fabric or you don't, your printer doesn't like to be printed, doesn't like to print <laughs> fabric, I'll get it out in a minute, guys. Um, then you've got something you can stitch down and play in. You can cut it up. There's some flowers on here, um, some little houses, hearts, um what do you call those? Mandelas? Mandalas? I don't know. And then um, little florals here and here. Um, little patterns here. And the word vintage. This is an old stamp that I've had forever. Um, it's kind of crooked now because, I mean, when I first got it, it was crooked, but I rescued it. It's really old. But it says vintage and you can see how it's bent and curved. So I really have to push it down in order to get all the letters to imprint, to transfer. Anyway, there's that. So that's the pack. That's $15. Um, and I will tell you, um, you know, those who know me, when you buy things from me, there's always a package of wonder that comes with my, um, as a thank you, with my, um, you know, purchases, with purchases from people who buy from me, customers who buy for me um so fifteen dollars for that and again there's no measurements so um you know if that's just that's how it's coming and i have eight of these okay and then let's see um i've got oh i know what i've got um let me show you guys this i've got this pack here that i'm gonna sell just like this and what this is, is, let me close the window. Hold on, guys. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Anyway, um, I have um, three different projects, unfinished projects in here. Um, this is one here of, I wrote down the measurements. I was going to stick this in my Etsy store, but um, I decided to just do a collection of unfinished embroidery projects. Um, but it's really pretty, this linen. It's got that stitching at the bottom. Um, the bottom edge and the top edge. And it's pretty pretty clean. I mean, but these things are old. And sometimes there are stains and little moth bites and stuff like that. Or just where it's been worn. And this particular um, embroider um, artist, embroidery artist, did not. She just didn't finish it. But look at the water. I love the way she did the water. This is so detailed. And look at the sails on that. So it's a boat. And then there's some um, land and scenery over here. Little trees and little hut houses. It looks like it might be an Asian theme. And then there's the back where she's tied all of her knots. Really cute. So there's that one. And I'm not going to do any measurements. Um, this one I did write down the measurements. 21 and three-fourths in length by 13 and a half in width size. Um, but I'm just going to put them all together because, you know, they are unfinished. What would I do with these? I would cut these babies up and stitch them down into my own projects. <laughs> That's what I would do. Um, here's another one. So there's one. Um, and this one, i got to watch the, the time, guys. Um, I have a long uh, teaching day coming up so the needle is still in there it's a bit rusted <laughs> her thread is still in there I have not removed that I just think it's cool when I find things like that and I I don't like to disturb them I just think they're so cool um and then 
Okay, I guess somebody's deciding to speed and stop and speed and stop and speed and stop. I'm not sure what's happening. Anyway, um, then you've got, so this one here, hold, hold on just a second, guys. Okay, um, so this particular artist, um, she just gave up after <laughs> these three little, um, I don't know what they are, design squares, but it's really cute. Um, I love the fact that you could cut the, the ducks out um, and stitch those down into your projects. And then there's some words, a kitchen filled with happiness comes from a loving home. So you could probably cut some of those out and make up your own sentence if you chose to. I don't like the lighting in here. It's just not working right. Okay. And then there's more ducks down there. And then more of those um, little designs. So this would be fun chopped up and repurposed uh, in current um, stitching work. So there's that one. I don't have the size of it. It's pretty big and it's got masking tape around it to keep it, I guess, from fraying. I suppose that's what that's for. This one. Oh, I love this one. Look at this, guys. This is fun. Oh, and I'm just going to start uploading these videos. Once one is done, I'm just going to pop it up. Um, and you can just kind of, you know, if you see something, the fabric pack is just a fabric pack. Um, the stitchery, unfinished stitchery pack, that's what I'll call it. Um, yeah, and this one still has its needle in there. I did not put that in there. It was like that when I got it. That's a sharp looking needle too, man. And then it's still in its um, embroidery hoop. A lot of ladies like these to redo things, but look how cute the little chickens are. They're so cute. Um, there's a colorful um, lot of um, DMC. There's a number there at the bottom. And look how big this one is. As ye sow, so shall ye reap. I love this. The house is completed. That would be cool. Stitch down and something. Look at these little apple trees. I'm assuming that they're apple trees because they have red in them. Unless those are just blossoms. I think they're apples because they've got little, you know. And then there's animals drinking water. The farmer, he's not finished. He's, um, you know, when you're whacking the hay. Um, all kinds of cute little um, things in here. Oh. I was trying to take those off. Those are part of the ducks in the water. <laughs> anyway, um, more house, farm, barnyard kind of thing. Love the fence. And then love these little X's down here at the bottom. Choco, déjalo. Um, let's see. Oh, and I love the sun. Isn't that cool? And look at her. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she pretty? Look at her little dress. And that looks like a little, I don't know what that is. It looks like a, I don't know what that is, guys. Don't know. I don't know. It's a something. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a something. Um, and then this guy is taking water out of the whale. And there's a ox um, there, I guess. And, oh, and then look at these little duckies here in the middle, or geese. That's probably what these are. And I love these little, little, um, I don't know what they are. I guess they're just little things, little designs. Just so cute. I just love this. A lot of it's, I mean, it's not finished. Some of the trees aren't finished. And this little animal over here doesn't have anything. So, yeah. So, that's fun. And that's a really big piece. And, again, you could also, she didn't finish the uh, shell uh, ye reap part but again you could cut that out um and you know um uh, stitch it down somewhere stitch it down or you might want to finish it yourselves i don't know but i love the rescue of things like this this is what i have always enjoyed um since i started my youtube channel and opened my etsy shop um, I've just always enjoyed um, the rescue and I think this is so beautiful all three pieces are just beautiful and so worthy to be loved up again and um, you know kind of um, you know put into to newer things 
yeah so there's that this little package here um what did i say i have to look at my list over here guys uh, hold on let me get it back in here there we go um this let me write this down so i can stick it in there so i won't um change any you know nothing's going to change um Let's see, with shipping, this probably wouldn't be too much to, um, I could probably get that out for about six bucks, um, somewhere. So I think that for this one, guys, I'm going to do, um, I think 14 bucks for that is what I want for that with $6. Shipping is included in all of my stuff. Shipping, 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 always, always, always included. 14 bucks. Okay. Then I have this piece here. Let me stick these over here. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Um, let's see. This piece is came out of, of um out of her stuff to her supply. It is the dingiest old. Oh, this has to be like from the 50s. Um, well, I shouldn't be saying that's old, right? Because some of the some of y'all were born in the 50s, which is awesome. <laughs> um, my mom was born in 48. I tell you guys that all the time. Anyway, it's it feels like it's from the 50s, and it does feel wonderfully old. Um, I don't know what kind of material it is. It feels like linen, but it might be cotton. I never know. I just know that it's old. And I suppose these are deer. <laughs> excuse me, sort of leaping about. They're in red and blue. Again, really pretty pattern for, you know, sort of a children's feel, or you could take the deer out, the blue and the red, and do, you know, the uh, 4th of July with it. Um, it's got these beautiful edges because it's been sitting up for so long. Just gorgeous piece, right? And it folds out again and out again, and it does have some patina, and foxing, this looks like an iron burn foxing right there. You can see the little spots, um, but I love that. It just, it just is so telltale of how old this is and how it's been loved on and, and um, held up for, for a while. So there's that. And that's eight bucks. Um, that's with shipping, $8 for that. And let me write that down. Um, I had some sticky thingies here. Hang on. Let's see. Sorry, guys. The hubs is in there giving the dogs tortillas. They get rotisserie chickens whole. Rotisserie chickens. We don't even eat. You know, when we buy one for us, we buy it for us. But they get, you know, whole chickens. And now they're eating tortillas. And sometimes I give them, I'll make them like an egg with bacon to put on top, you know, of, of their food. Sort of like a little delicacy. And, um one of the first things my husband says, wow, why don't you offer them a cup of tea? <laughs> a cup of coffee. <laughs> That's how rotten those dogs are. Golly. Anyway. Okay. So I had two paws. So this video, I'm, I'm just going to probably keep, um, I'm just going to keep going guys. Okay. Next I have this, this is $8 and it's beautiful. Um, it's one of those old panels. Everything for me is a panel, a panel, a panel. It's one of those old linen, um, gorgeous, in beautiful condition. Um, not the, It's kind of like the calendar, but it's not. It's just, yeah, there, there we go. 52% linen, 48% cotton. That's why I can't tell the difference most of the time. <laughs> really all of the time. Anyway, okay. Um, right here it says Made in Ireland. Um, so it's just a beautiful, um, portrait of Ireland. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Um, and it's in beautiful condition. Um, I love this. Now, what would I do with this? Snip, snip, cut, cut. I would cut, <laughs> cut some of these out if I were, you know, into I the Irish and Irish things and, everything Ireland. Um, I, I would love this. I would just dig it, um, and stitch on those or just collect it. 
posted up and collected. I think it's really beautiful. And like I said, it's in really good condition. I'm not going to measure it because I'm not measuring stuff. That's eight bucks with shipping included. It'd probably be about maybe $5 to mail this. Um, even in a flat envelope, probably. So $8, I probably will make three bucks off of that. <laughs> I don't even remember what I paid for it. Um, anyway, there's that one. And then this I've shown before. I love this. I, I'm getting ready to do some, um, like things like this, getting ready to cut up and just make some, um, sort of stitchery, just small stitchery packs. Um, I know, no, well, let me, let me back up here. I know that stitching is, you know, we're, everybody's doing it. I can't wait to start doing it. My pile of stuff is over there. I've just keep stacking and stacking. I've got, uh, just wraps little, um, snippets over there. I've got just all the goodness. Um, I got this beautiful piece of fabric from Tahira when we met up, um, uh, which was one of the best moments in my life forever. Um, I will never forget that day and I'm pretty sure we're going to do it again because, oh my God, that was just really nice. But I got this beautiful piece of, um, fabric here from, um, Tahira that she bought from April at Pink Eye Bird. This is in my stitchery stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. After I cut it, I was thinking, oh my God, I hope I cut it right because Tahira said, here's this, or, or Let's see. I had I brought the scissors and I had scissors and she's like, here, to get the scissors and just cut. And I was like, okay. And I started cutting. I was like, oh my God. I hope I started thinking like, I hope I cut it in the way that she wants to use it. But um, it was a really nice piece of it too. So, um, okay, let's see. I, I can concentrate better now that my husband is getting out of the house. Goodbye. Go. Oh, damn. Anyway, anybody want to purchase a husband? Anybody? And two dogs? Well, maybe one. <laughs> no, all three. They all have to go, right? Anyway, okay. So this I've shown before. Um, and it's got some stains here and here. And then, um, it, but it's just a really beautiful piece. Oh, I love this so much with this pink rose here. And then these little florals here would be pretty. But look at the edging on this. This is what I really, really like about this. The ed edging. Uh, let me help my husband with the dogs because he's going to open the gate, guys. Bishop won't go out. Smokey Sneaky, he will. And Choco definitely will. He will run out the gate. My husband had to run him down the other day <laughs> so let me go help quickly okay okay Whew. all right so look at the edging on this isn't that pretty so this I, i'm probably if if this doesn't sell here i will stick it in my etsy sh shop store or i will cut it up and use it myself in my stitching stuff because it's pretty it's a big piece too it's huge. Where's the measurements? Here are the measurements. It's $8. There's the measurements for that one. Okay. All right. Then I've got, uh, let's see here. Oh, I've got, um, that's $8. This, um, lot here of really pretty, um, old yellowed linen cotton and I cannot keep all of this stuff this is what I stamped on and I will insert a picture somewhere on these videos to show you what the whole panel looked like after I was done stamping on it but look at that aging there isn't that beautiful oh I just love this and this is old good quality just beautiful beautiful pieces and so there's that one there there's one, and then this is, um, this is, I stamped on one like that. This is different, but it's that same old yellowed, beautiful, um, I don't know what that, what she was doing with this, guys. Like, what is that for? Can you guys see that? This, this, uh, fabric is just yummy. It's just so beautiful, and it's large. It's in, um, two pieces. It doesn't have an odor to it. It doesn't smell. 
but it's got all of that yummy patina and yellowing on it. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I know a lot of ladies like to um, stitch on, but I can't figure out what this is. Now, I did cut up one like this and put it in the pack. So that really nice um, ivory piece that I showed you guys, it was another one of these. I don't know what that hole in the middle is for. Is it some kind of kitchen thing? Or is, I don't know. There's that. And I'm not measuring. Not measuring. Don't have time for that. So sorry. Um, these are priced accordingly, okay? This piece here is huge. It's a big one. Um, oh my God, this is so pretty. It's just so beautiful, guys. I can't explain it. Um, but this is a big piece. It's almost like these were like cloths to hold food or to sit plates on or food on or something. They're not big enough to be tablecloths. But the, the fabric, this fabric is just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Lots of stains. Um, lots of, and I have not laundered these. Okay. And they don't smell. They don't even have that um, old person. I don't want to offend anybody. Um, do y'all ever get the <laughs> feeling that everything you say, everybody's offended by it? Like you, if you, even if you sneeze, somebody's offended right it's like we need to lighten up we're the united states of america man <laughs> we're not anyway i'm not gonna start I, I i told myself no chatty kathying and i'm not gonna okay anyway there are these three pieces and these are lovely 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 um pieces to add to your old fabric antique fabric collection very pretty um and these i have to do guys these are going to be a little bit pricier because it's hard to find this kind of original stuff like this. And I just love all the stains and the storytelling behind these stains that you could um, wonder at. Um, so for this little pile, 20 bucks. Okay. Got to do 20 on that one just because, because yeah, you don't find that stuff every day. So there's that $20 with shipping. And this is probably going to be about eight dollars to ship seven to eight dollars in those priority thingies okay now if you buy more than one um item from me i i'm gonna wheel and deal on the shipping so um it'll the more you buy the less it, it will likely be i should put it that way so like if there were two orders of this um eight dollars probably you know i would take knock off the eight dollars for the other second one and you know and I do um refund overages if there's any overages so there's no worries on that okay then I've got oh my gosh and I'm not measuring this all I can tell you is this is mid-century beautiful this is so kick-ass beautiful oh my god it's I got this from the last the, the last estate sale it is a gorgeous beautifully pristine look at the green it's so pretty now i have to tell you guys i'm not gonna lie i did keep one of the napkins uh tables um servietes <laughs> oh i have spanish and english brain guys my husband has been here because it snowed here and we were iced in and he has driven me nuts if i let him i'm so glad that he is just out of the house right now his brother can deal with him the rest of the day. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> I kept one of these. Let's see. Okay, look at that. There's supposed to be six. I'm going to take another one out, guys, and make it four because that's the norm because I'm selling this as a set. And they're just gorgeous. I kept one of these for my stitchery. Um things because my a book that I'm going to work on the Roxy girls um, project and you can't even see how pretty this green is in in person um, I mean it, it's just not it looks like an olive green here this is a true green it's so pretty um, and so there will be four uh, napkins 
and you can see why I kept one for my stitching because look at that look at those holes and the, the pattern and the design and this would be beautiful just to feel the inside cover of a book there's the green right there see it I had it there it is that's the green if you can see that so yeah that's really these are really fun um, and these are very mid-century it's got that mid-century feel to it so there's four of those and then this tablecloth I'm guessing is it's it's a big one because it just folds there's one two three four um, and that's folded uh, that's doubled over so there's yeah see that um, roughly let me see here I had to take my jacket off because it's actually sunny here today we were iced in but it's sunny today so just from there to there is about 22 inches probably 21 and a half or 5 eighths or something like that and then from one piece down to here is about 14 and 3 4 so but again it's folded over and I I'm not measuring anything um it's pristine it's beautiful this is really pressed look at that green can you see it can you see it <clears throat> this is just lovely it's so lovely it's so pretty so there's that watching the time guys I'm, I'm not gonna chatty Kathy I don't have time for that oh my god I don't have time for chatty Kathy anymore because oh my goodness my job and just um, stuff man just stuff okay there's that so that's four um napkins or whatever the, the proper etiquette word is for napkins i just say napkins i forgot i can't think right now what the other word is for that um so this is gonna be oh gosh guys i'm gonna have to go a little high on this one and i'm sorry but i'm doing it um it's gonna be fifty dollars um shipping included okay and the reason why i'm doing setting the price like that because it's worth it that this is totally totally worth it to use to chop up to inlay books in the covers outside stitch in you know it's just gorgeous so there's that okay all righty let's see moving on and that will go in my etsy shop and i can guarantee you it won't be fifty dollars if i put it in my etsy shop and it's nothing um against you guys or anything like that it's just it's just etsy is killer with the fees my mom sold a 155 dollar ceramic bride oh my goodness she was so pretty um 155 dollars by the time etsy got through taking this fee and that fee and this fee and oh yeah that other fee don't forget that one and other fees and fees and fees and fees i think my mom it, it was it was ridiculous anyway just ridiculous okay as i was stamping on that fabric last night i was like "Ooh, i forgot i had because i used a chamomile i kept my chamomile um that's my husband's favorite tea one of his favorite teas and so i kept that one um and i used it last night to uh, stamp on that um piece in the fabric uh scrap panels um <coughs> excuse me but I left the chives in this one. So this one has chives. Hang on. Let me take this out of here. Because this is. Okay. It's got a chive stamp. And they're all in good condition. A little flower. Lots of eastery springtime. Upcoming springtime pieces in here. This one's never been used. I love this one. This is what I should have used last night. I've never used this one um, because I think it would be so cool to stamp that and stitch down, you know, stitch it, make little flowers and stuff and just kind of follow that pattern. Never used. This one looks like an onion. That's a $19.99 stampin', stampin' Up. That one's got some dust in there. So just, you know, just wipe it off really good when you get it. Nothing will jump out and bite you, I promise. Um, this one is really cute. And this one I've used, I used to put on thank you uh, things. And then these two little ones. This says hobble rope. And this one says open mouth. <laughs> I don't know what those mean, but there they are. 
okay um, and this bag is going to be eight dollars shipping included it's probably going to cost eight dollars to mail it actually so this is pretty much there's no profit here for me at all so there we go it's probably going to be about eight dollars guys i better do 10 on this okay just because the eight dollars it might cost 8.95 to mail it and i'm saying eight dollars so i'm gonna say 10 on that one um and i am keep in mind guys i'm trying to give good deals but i'm also trying to make money so i can pay um to uh i'm having some journals made for my students um so i'm also trying to pedal here so that i can keep purchasing journals from you guys for my students um it's just so amazing so that's ten dollars for those stamps those are worth it i think it's worth ten dollars okay but please beg to differ um i have this bag of yumminess and i put this together this also came from the last estate all the fabrics estate um except for this tool i have a big bolt of this tool um and i just thought this would be a pretty eclectic valentine pack um with this gorgeous satin i don't know what she was making you're gonna hear my dog scratching his bed he's he's preparing my old man dog he's he's our old baby so we have to watch him guys the other day he got up was trying to get up on the stairs his two hind legs he's a basset hound and his back two hind legs and his hind legs in the back obviously hind um they just don't work sometimes and so he kind of drags them a little bit from time to time but he still is full of fire <laughs> believe me when i tell you that and he was trying to get up on the porch we have some little I think I told, said this in a video, he was trying to get up on some, or was telling my mom, I can't remember guys, trying to get up on the porch and his little hind legs, you know, he couldn't quite make it. So I had to like pick up both legs and just like bloop and help him get up. He's so cute. He's such a good doggy. We've had, he's 13 by the way. Anyway, we've had him since 2008. No, yeah. Yeah, 2008, him and Max. Um, okay, anyway, so he and Max. Um... So this is really pretty. This is old stuff. I have more of this in a different color. Let me show you. Oh, okay. Hold on. Sorry, guys. The dogs are going to bark because there's a big ass, huge water truck in the front now. Oh. <clears throat> I've used this in kits before and this is old. It's old stuff too. But you see how pretty that is? Very silky and satiny. Um, but I love this. I don't know what she was doing, what she was going to do um, with this. I have no idea. And I didn't see anything. There were some items that were cut, but I didn't see anything. Um, I didn't see anything in her cut stuff as to what she was doing with this. There were some pieces like those blue flowers, blue and the green background with the purple blue flowers. That was some kind of outfit she was making um, that was really cool. So anyway okay let me keep going so this is a nice piece and i put this together for um valentine's and if you guys if you think outside the box with valentine's go valentine's go and watch some of my old videos where i did valentine's kits they were vintage that was so much work and so much fun Oh my gosh, they were so eclectic and people just love them. They really love them. They were a lot of fun to put together. I used old books. I used the Reader's Digest books. I used um, the front uh, or covers from um, dictionaries, um, just all kinds of cool things. Um, and this also came out of her, her um, sewing stash. And there's a lot of it there. This is beautiful. Um, Let's see if I could get the true color. It looks kind of orangey, but it's it's red and green. Now, see, I would use some of this for Valentine's. It looks orangey and yellowy on here, but it's really a gold green and red, like a true red, or for Christmas, um, or whatever. A great a winter piece as well, because, you know, just because it's hot here, it may still be cold somewhere else. Um, so I put that in there because I would totally use that for a Valentine's journal. I, I just would. And then here's some tool and I have a big bolt of this. It's old, it's vintage, um, and it's burgundy. So I sort of put those together. Um, and this whole lot here is, um, I think I'm going to do $15 on that one. 
Okay, and that's what's shipping. Probably going to be more, like at least 11 bucks to mail it. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I want to get rid of some of this stuff, like I said, and I'm really peddling to get my um, student journals uh, money saved for them. Oh, he's opening the water thing. Okay, 15 bucks is what I said, right? Opening the water across the street, so it's probably going to flood out or whatever. I guess cleaning out those pipes or something. Okay, there's that. All right, let me keep going. Then I've got... Um, hold on, let me put some stuff back here. This bolt of silky stuff. I've got some old, pretty, um, sort of a dusky pink um, tool as well that's really pretty. Okay, here's my mom's doll dress. Um, if this doesn't sell here, it's definitely going in the Etsy shop. Um, these were clothes, um, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I've sold several of my mom's dolls. I've sold her, the doll dresses. I've got, um, oh my gosh, so much good feedback from that, um, way back when. So, this is, um, a beautiful dress. Now, this came from one of the dolls, um, that sold a long time ago. And this, my mom was born in 1948, um, and these were her baby dolls. I played with them, sort of. My daughter looked at them, wasn't very interested in dolls, um, and so, yeah, but they were, they were just well taken care of up until, you know, my great aunt, when my great grandmother died and my great aunt got, Annie got a hold of everything. Things just kind of went awry a little bit. Um, in any event, it's got lots of patina. There's no smell. Um, beautiful old vintage lace here, ruffled lace. My mom had some of the best dolls. She had a uh, Madam Alexandra, a doll that was so old and somebody in New York bought it. They bought my kits because, let me change that. They bought the outfit um, that was in one of my kits. And then somebody later on came back and bought the doll. So, and my mom was an only child. So she was really, really, really spoiled. She still is. <laughs> but I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Nope. Anyway, it's got the snaps on it still, so you can see those there. My mom took really good care of her stuff when she was a kid. And she didn't have to share with anybody, so... Um, yeah, so all of the snaps work. And... Oh my gosh, look at my fingers. I was picking up those stamps, and now I've got stamp ink on my, my hands. And then it's got this tool... And this pretty slip underneath um, there. Lots of patina again. And foxing. <clears throat> lots of yellowing. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to try and get this back in here like I had it. You going to make a may may boo boo? Mm -hmm. And then this is a like a little petticoat. Um, and this has got like tool all across there like a little slip kind of thing lots of patina this goes probably likely underneath this dress and there is no snap at the top of this one okay really pretty old guys even you could cut these up you know to give that authentic vintage feel to any project and then here are the little bloomers that one still has a safety pin in it really cute little undies and then these are really cute look at these look at those those are true bloomers <laughs> oh my god they're so cute and there's the inside hand stitched handmade i think these are mis um, machine stitched i guess guys <clears throat> really fun and again um lots and lots of patina um but they it has they have like no smell at all um so that lot there um i am going to uh i'm gonna say 20 bucks on on that guys that lot it's worth more than that but it's okay if it doesn't sell here like i said i will put it in my etsy store and that's where i really really hike the prices up 
um, a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's a lot of fun. I told my mom, I was like, Mom, I'm down to the last of your doll dresses. And she's like, really? You sold them all? I'm like, yep, they all went. Okay, um, let me put the price in there, 20 bucks. Shipping is included. No one does that. Who does that? Okay. Um, then, oh, guys, look at this. I have to, oh, there's some of that yellowy stuff. Look how pretty this is. This is called Schwartz Lie Lieberman. Schwartz Liebman. This I found um, at a thrift store, and isn't it fabulous? Oh, it's so gorgeous and light. Look at that see-through. Oh, the colors are just gorgeous. It's purple and orange and teal, this really pretty teal. Oh, I just love this so much. So I don't, I didn't put that in the um, fabric packs because I don't know, I might want to put that on Etsy like it is. I researched that a little bit and that fabric, that brand is, is really, there's a, you know, it's popular. Anyway, if anybody's interested, just yell at me. Um, Let's see. How am I doing for time? Okay. Oh, let me show you these quickly. I've got these beautiful um, garter belts. And these came from the last estate sale that my mom and I went to. And I was so surprised. Look at these. I haven't touched them, guys. I haven't taken them out. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they pretty? Um... Well, I guess I should take them out now that I'm trying to pedal them, <laughs> right? Uh, I don't like touching stuff. You know, I don't like to read everything. I'm not a, I'm not really a nosy person. I just want to look at it and say, oh, okay, there's that, 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 and then, you know, get, get it out. But look how beautiful those are. And, um, sorry if you hear, hear my, my tummy. I'm going to eat something here in a minute. I don't want to pull that out because they're so old that... I, I'm scared if I pull them out, they may not stretch back in. But aren't those beautiful for Valentine's Day? And look at these pretty ones with this purple on there. I didn't even see that purple under there because I didn't really look at them. I just bought them and brought them home and they've been sitting there until now. Remember the garter belts? Do, do, do ladies still wear garter belts for their weddings? Look at that yellow one. Isn't that pretty? These would even be pretty for Easter um um, Easter uh, decorations or Valentine's. Look at this one. Ooh, wait, let me put these back in here. I don't know if I should sell these the whole box or individually. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, that yellow? I think I may go individually. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. That really soft baby blue and pink. Um, very pretty for baby books. And again, that adds real vintage to your projects, which means you can add more when you sell your journal, <laughs> journals or whatever it is you do. So there's two of each. So there is a red with the dirty pink. There is a red with a pretty fuchsia. There are two yellows. And then there is baby pink and baby blue. And I'm going to sell each of these for five bucks. Okay, so there is that. All right, now let me put that on there so I don't forget what I said. I won't have time to watch um, my video back because I have a lot of prep to do for this, this coming week. Okay, <clears throat> $5 each. Oh, guys, you know what? I better do seven to include shipping on that because, yeah, I better do seven dollars. I'm sorry. But at least you see what I'm doing, right? The pricing. You can see how my brain is working. It's a miracle that it's working right now. It's a miracle. I'm telling you. Okay, those I need to put in some kind of package. Let's stick those there. Okay, now. What else do I have in here? I want to get rid of all this stuff. I have too much stuff, and I, this is nothing. Um, I put together some cards, lots. Now, these are different than the card lots in my Etsy store. The card lots in my Etsy store are 
it's a mix really mostly modern cards um that um i put together for like ac atcs this lot is different there's about 50 plus or you know more cards in each pack and they're all vintage okay so let me just pull out um they're they're, they're all the same um but let me just pull out some of the ones that I put in there okay so let me just start with this one and what I did is I um, I think there's like 50 cards you can probably count that I'm going to show you all of them but they're vintage they're just really pretty they're uh, very eclectic um, and they also sort of play up to uh, hang on guys let me pause this for a second Okay, guys, let me start over. I had to um, <clears throat> take a little break to uh, download that first footage um, so that I don't, I don't want to, I don't want these videos to be long. So I'm trying not to talk, you know, trying to update you guys too, but trying not to talk a lot um, unless it's the, the sale. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So these are the cards that I have and they're all vintage. They're really nice. And um, what I was saying before the last part of the video is that they are eclectic so there's there's color there's flowers there's a lot of dogs um there's cottage um you know sort of farmhouse cottage um landscape that kind of thing um and so and they're just really fun cards these are the cards that i took um there's a a seahorse i kept some of these because you you guys know i love seahorse i got my seahorse journal right there <laughs> got my seahorse journal made by Tahira. Look, it's right here. Isn't that porty? <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me get back to this. Um, so I put some of these in here for beach and sea life. I, I decided not to do those sea themed kits because I'm sending those to, um, donating those to, um, a really good cause. Um, and so I have a whole, guys, I have a whole huge box of, of, um, of really cool, uh, things that, um, I'm sending off. Um, I just got to get, you know, just get things together, you know, with my teaching and my job, my real job and, you know, stay on task with that. Cause that's, that's my livelihood. Um, but you know, I want to make sure that I'm giving back as much as I get from you guys and have over the years, um, several of you and y'all know who you are. Um, so anyway, um, so yeah, there's that and there's, this is a plasticky card, but it's a pretty floral and there's some horse and this one and this one's really cute. I think that's the only cat one I have in there. That's an old, old card. <laughs> it's old. It's even got the yellowing around the edges. It's really cute. And this one is sort of colonial. It's got that colonial feel to it. And so does this one. And more horse. So you'll notice in the, while I'm flipping through these, you'll notice in the fabric, um, scrap fabric panels that I put, you know, there's kitchen, cooking, retro, in there um these little dogs are so cute oh my god fast forward through no more dogs for me <laughs> um they um have that cooking retro feel to them the gingham fourth of july um there's some winter the the hound's tooth is, is sort of a wintry feel but there's just so much that you could do with them and i try to do the cards the same and there's some red white and blue or travel this might be a, more of a contemporary card, probably the only contemporary card in here. Um, this is uh, cards, I think, of people in Miami. So, and it's an old retro card. Some of the old cards are still complete in their packaging, so they look new, but they're 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 old. This one is just weird. <laughs> look at the bunny. I don't know if he's mad or what, but anyway, I don't know if the dog is chasing him or he's chasing the dog. I'm not sure, but there they are. Love this one. That's a really pretty um, cottage 
with a garden there. It looks like a rose garden or some sort of flower garden. Look at the sky and the trees over here. I love that. More flowers. Here's some pretty pink um, carnations and butterflies. Pink grapes. <laughs> Go figure. Another flowers and foliage. Um, and on here, <clears throat> it looks like a really light pink, but it's a it's a real true pink. I, I, I don't know how else to, to explain that. So lots of flowers, lots of fun and color. Cookbook stuff. More roses. These are all old cards. That says Rita, oh, Rita Donnelly. Yeah, it's on there. I'm just kidding. We can never think of ladybugs without thinking of Rita ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Love this card here, this person, and that one's got a bend in it. I tried to pick all the cards that didn't have that in there, and that was probably one one of the ones that, that just got in there, but it gives it that nice, beautiful look. It almost looks like uh, lightning across the sky a little bit. And there's more flowers, Valentine is around the corner. Well, it's already here, we might as well say. Lots of pretty yellow and greenery there. And two of these cards. And some tapestry, pretty florals, gold, sort of bohemian Indian feel to it, Asian feel. Um, butterflies. The Some packs have a blue-purple butterfly, lavender blue butterfly, and there's the blue card to that pink one. The grapes are purple there. Love these, these cards here. Really pretty. And there's more doggies. Um, there we go. He's sort of sitting by the, in the hammock. <clears throat> I don't know why I have so many doggy cards. There's some succulents. I think I've shown you guys that before. There we go. Sorry. It's a little fuzzy there. And I would use this. I've included this card, this checkers and um, retro cookbook kits before. And there's more a painting. Pretty scenery there. Irises. We can't think of irises without thinking of Wendy ever again <laughs> my uh, great Annie loved irises and she had some beautiful dark purple ones and there's a hummingbird we can never think of hummingbirds without thinking of my baby <laughs> oh I miss her so much guys but I am so ever ever blessed oh my god I, I I'm just I anyway can't even but I miss her so much I have some pictures um I Oh, let me show you guys. Hold on. Whoops. Look, I'm getting excited. That's what happens. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to make this quick. So I told you guys I was cleaning and um, I'm, you know, cleaning and packing things up so that I can organize. And I'm preparing for a really nice, I hope, a really nice space um, so that I can start filming more and boost my uh, YouTube channel up um, like you know, so these are old pictures. Look at this. This is my daughter. It's my baby right there. That's my sister. And this is a, one of our friends. This is when we're, we lived in California. This is one of our friends, um, little sisters, my sister, the nurse. And then this is my daughter <laughs> leaning on my dad's BMW. One of the BMWs. Um, that's his Porsche over there. Anyway, um, this is my baby right here. And that's the same little girl. They're so cute. <laughs> she was in gymnastics too, like my niece, um, who's not in gymnastics right now. Okay, quickly. The, and the reason why I have these out, because I'm putting them in an album, uh, in a, a junk journal. Uh, I need to scan them. So there's my daughter and there's my sister. And then there's my baby. Looking all beautiful and brown. <laughs> There she is with one of her friends. This is one of her friends. This is my daughter there. She was a sweetie. This, this is in California. And then there's my stepmom. I think I've shown this picture before. There's there's my daughter. I just braided her hair up because we were on a train 
trip. And there's my stepmom and there's my dad, my biological dad. And then lastly, there is me and my sisters. And we were in Lake Tahoe, I think. There's my sister, the nurse. There's me with my druids. And there's my stepsister, Jessica, who is my sister. And her baby is the one with the red, 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 red hair. <laughs> He's on my Instagram. You'll have to scroll down to go see on my Instagram. Anyway, so I took these out. <clears throat> We all used to travel a lot, guys. We used to travel so much, but dang, how that's changed. I'm just not doing it. Not right now, anyway. Okay, so my daughter's favorite flower sparked um, that little tangent. Is What's the hummingbird? And then this is also a plasticky one. And then there's that one. And that reminds me of that other card with the cottage and the flowers. This is a lady here in looking out the window or out of a doorway. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a window, but it's one of those really big, tall windows. I don't know. And there's that one. And this one. And you can count these yourselves. I've got two... Um, uh, Beatrice Potter uh, cards in here. And these are vintage. They're old. They're so cute. I love those. And then these two. African Violets. And these two. And there may be, you know, one or just of something in here that I didn't have enough of, of one of these. It's a possibility, but I tried to make up for it some other way. And then there's that one. And love this card. This pretty teal. And those beautiful, the daffodil. And these pretty, I guess those are tulips. I'm not sure. Um, those look like um, forget-me-nots, I guess. I'm not sure. And then there's some mushrooms and a butterfly. And in some of the packs, there's an orange uh, background butterfly. Okay, so those are all old vintage cards, but you'll notice that I try to cover the gamut um, by putting in, can you guys see that? Is that clear? By putting in um, a lot of different cards. Um, and these are $5 a pack. And that is with shipping. I think that's what I said. Did I say that? Yeah, $5 a pack for these. Okay. Um, so... If you order more than one, um, you know, like I said, don't worry about the shipping. I know what I'm doing. Okay, there's those. Now, and I have, I don't know, guys, I have quite a few of those. Then I have, okay, this flinch um, box here. Um, and the flinch cards. Um, those are a lot of fun. Um, this set, I can't remember. I got this at an estate sale. I'm almost sure. I got these at an estate sale, but it wasn't the last one. It wasn't the one in January. I got these at an estate sale last year, um, and I don't remember when or where my mom and I were. It's somewhere. <laughs> anyway, the box is in really good condition. It's got pretty yellowing in there, as you can see. It comes with the instructions. I did not find a date. There is some uh, love wear on there. Um, a famous game. A Famous Family Game by A.J. Patterson. And the entire booklet is complete. So if you don't know how to play Flinch, um, it there are the instructions right there. There is no date in here, but it's old. I did not research these. Okay, so there's that. There's the back of the book. Okay, and then <clears throat> let me just show you what the cards look like. Let's look at the, this is the rest of the box. And it's in really good um, condition. There's an old rubber band on the back. Hang on. Let me just snap that off without ruining the box. There we go. So there's that. Guys, wouldn't that be pretty scanned? Just like that. Ugh, ideas things 
Um, okay, and there's the little sleeve um, that holds the cards. Now, I think there, I counted, I think 80 and 60, so 80 something and 60 something. So there's that many cards in here, but they are just beautiful. And I have, I don't, I'm pretty sure I have not kept out one single card in here. So I just wanted to show you the numbers made in the USA. Okay, I love the twos. <gasps> Look at them. I want to keep one of these cards so bad, but I'm not. I, I cannot. I'll, I'll find, for, for what, like, why would I do that? What, what, what would be the point? <laughs> for my journals, maybe? I don't know. Birthdays? Favorite holiday dates? Anniversary dates? So there are those, and they're they're just stunning, and they're in really good condition. Um, they're so unique. <clears throat> okay, and there's the back of them, right there. I've had these for a while. Okay, so there they are, and I'm not going to count them, but they're all there, um, and I'm pretty sure I didn't keep any of them out of there. I, I would love to, but no, not going to. There, okay, there's the little book back in there, in the box. Um, uh, these are going to be 25. Okay, there's that. So, let me write that on there and stick it in there. $25 and um, that's with shipping um, and again my with shipping is a really good deal and I don't see it as me losing out especially on the fabric packs like you know $15 for those fabric um, scrap panels they're going to be eight to mail so I'll get seven dollars each for one of those packs and it's okay because it, again it helps me um, it's a lot of work you know, but it helps me save and earn money so that I can keep buying journals from y'all. Okay, so there's that. Okay, now, um, uh, let's see. I Oh, I know what I need to, oh God. Okay, this is going to be a really big doozer here. Um, this is a blue pack. I'm just going to set it up here because, oh my God, I really, honestly, I should have, I should have turned this into, oh, and I have a Jennifer J pack I got to mail soon. It's, it's something she wanted for me and I need to mail it. I haven't mailed it yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is, let me just show you this. This is what I'm hustling and bustling with. This is a blue pack. So let me just take, oh my God, this is like crazy. Let me take everything out. There's that. Oh my God, look. So let me just try to go through the books first and I'll show you everything. I've been a, I've been saving this one up for a long time. And um, um, I've been saving it up for a long time and I was going to do two of them, but I just, guys, I, I just... I just, I just, I just, I need to move things out. I cannot say it enough. I can't say it enough. Okay, so it's got this book, and that's a Reader's Digest. It's going to crack if I open it too wide. Look how pretty that book is. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's in there. This kit, I think, would uh, a pack, I think, would be really awesome to share look at those beautiful florals or to make you know to make your own kits uh with that's what i'm i'm thinking or just to stash bill you know this is 1963 just a stash bill so there's one book then i chucked in these two books i love this book right here this cover this cloth cover it's like a midnight um I don't know. It's just so pretty. I just love this cover. And it's cloth. It's old. It's beautiful. And this one also. That one's got some yellowing on it. This would be pretty like a Rachel style thing. Um, if you can't afford those awesome, beautiful books that she uh, peddles. 
um, you could, you could sort of try and copy that. You know what I mean? Like it may not be that old, uh, Italy style. Those are just one of a kind books that she, um, scores. They're just so beautiful. Um, you can, you know, just kind of play around, especially if you're a newbie with old covers like this. Okay. So there's three books and then here's another one. And this one's really pretty. This is a midnight blue and the spine is already sort of out of there there's like you know it's just hanging on by the thread literally so there's four books and i know there's another one in here is there oh and this was a blue pile i started holy holy lord i can't even remember when i started it and became very very uninspired and sort of just let it sit there and just look at it and go, hmm. <laughs> huh. So yeah, anyway. Um, but what did I put in here? There is a large piece of, and it, the intention was blue and green, obviously. But look at all the stuff I put in here. Hold on. Let me make some space here. Because I haven't opened this um, in, in a long time. But um, there is a book in here. Let's get to that. And there it is. It's kind of a teal blue. It's very pretty. With some reds and blacks on the front. The marble font by Nathaniel Haw Hawthorne, I think. Is, yeah. And so that's got its pages in there. So there's one, two, three, four books. And then what else did I put in here? I don't remember. There's a blue card. Um, let me watch the time. There's some, uh, what do you call those, um, lettering anagrams? That's a blue, f uh, stitched, machine stitched, uh, letter Y. I put in here, oh, I love this stuff. Look at this, this rickrack. This is old stuff here. Some pretty rickrack. In light blue and white. Let me see if I can divide this all up and keep it. And there's more. This is old, too. This was wrapped in, um, hang on, let me show you what that was wrapped in. I don't remember where I got this stuff from, but this blue trim came in this plastic, like this eyelet. This eyelet, the whole eyelet, is just, it, it's all in this plastic. Look at that. And I guess that's the way they sold it, maybe to cut it by measurements or something. But it's just, it's all this eyelid is just in there. All the way through and through. Look at that. So it's been nice and protected, but it is yellowed on some of the edging. Anyway, um, this was in there in that same kind of plastic thing. And so I think I've gotten rid of all of this. I, I may have some left. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's that trim. And then here's this blue piece here. Um, you're going to hear... Uh, the girl dog next door, she likes to cuss Bishop out from time to time. They fight. I think they're in love. <laughs> they're totally in love. She's she's fast, too. Bishop is really fast, and so is she. She's a, looks like a boxer mixed with pit bull or something. But she's really, really um, slim and, and all muscle and young. So there's that one. And then this is the Chinese braid. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have some of that in there. I, I think I finally used all of that. So there's Chinese braid. Let me go a little faster, guys. Here are some more, ana I don't know, what are these called, guys? Anagrams? Not anagrams. What are these called? There's an F and an F and an M or a T. I don't know. It looks like an F to me. And then there's a Y. And there's another blue Y. I love those blue ones. I had a bunch of these. I may still have some somewhere. I, I, I don't know where they are at all. So, yeah. <laughs> I may find them. I'm finding other stuff. And then, of course, this pretty old ribbon here. This eyelet with this blue and white polka dot. Yeah, she's cussing Bishop out right now. She's telling him off. <laughs> so, there's that. And then here is some crochet little remnant there in baby blue and here's a little doily <clears throat> 
And this I put in here because this would be really cool to stitch on um, as well. Even back then, you know, I was kind of thinking about um, just little, just little pieces that are so charming and worthy. Um, there's some blue tickets, a blue library card, a blue playing card. I love these. Those are so pretty. And a blue bingo card. And here is a um a um what do you call it cross stitch little panel that's really pretty i still have a ton of this these were sheets and then here's some music a music panel that would be fun to stitch oh my goodness that would give me a headache but it would be fun <laughs> i would enjoy it oh my goodness okay and there's some blue rayon. Now this came from either Mr. I'm pretty sure this is Mr. and Mrs. McDaniel's estate as opposed to my great Annie's estate. Even though my great Annie's um, favorite color was blue, I, a lot of this came from their Mr. and Mrs. McDaniel's estate. There's a light blue, baby blue um, doily, paper doily. That's pretty. And you can see how long it's been sitting up in there. Because like I said, I started kits and then I just became so uninspired and <clears throat> and moved by what I was doing that I just abandoned it. Stick that in there. Another blue card. There's some blue papers and teals and blues for writing. Um, try to keep it all together. This is all one kit. I'm not done yet. Oh. And let me cross over here and pull out this old blue marble paper that came out of a, oh my gosh, an old uh, ledger. And I just couldn't bring myself to throw it away. So there's that paper piece. <laughs> Bishop's trying to woo her with the toy, guys, but it's not working. It, I think it's annoying her more so than anything. And there is some of that gorgeous um, paper I got from Shelly um, that she had. Oh, my gosh. She had some of the prettiest wallpaper. I just love that stuff. Just gorgeous pieces. And there's another bingo card. Two different, one, two, three different <clears throat> um, layouts. There are styles. All of them are old. This one says 1941 down here. This is 1987. And that one doesn't have a date. That one's probably the most contemporary, I think, I would say. And then there's some blue index cards. Grid paper index cards. They're gridded on both sides. And a pretty blue vintage envelope. Airmail envelope. Really pretty. Feels like cotton paper or something and then blue envelopes here and here and these um those of you who bought my um stitchery kits um slow stitching um packs i put together and mailed out to all of you um a surprise thank you um and these envelopes were in that just pretty blue envelopes they're definitely worthy and um another old vintage envelope that was in something it says Beijing. Oh, I love this paper. A hotel envelope. Um, today's mood blue dump. Oh, this is old too. I I would argue that blue is my great aunt loved blue. Um, the color so much. I mean, it was just, and so did my my good friend Sonia. Um, blue was her favorite color as well. And um, it doesn't always mean down and out. Okay, let's see what's in here. What did I put in here? Oh my god. Why is this in here? <laughs> oh, why is that in there? I don't know, but that's a pop-up something. <clears throat> it's a pop-up. There it is. There she is. She's popping out. And this guy over here, look at the cat. <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. Probably I was trying to keep myself going and try to stay you know, enthusiastic, but, um, the mm, uninspired got the better of me, I suppose. Okay. So here are some of those old, um, blue ideal book sheets. 
love this organ. My daddy, ooh, he could burn that sucker up. Oh my God, he could tear that thing up. Mm, 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 mm. And there's more blue with some poetry. And more blue poetry. Love this image here. The medicine show. But look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> this one is reflections and teal. And more pages. The singing Katie dids. Guys, my husband just drove by. He's hanging out with the his buddies and brother down the road there, and he's driving. He's <laughs> oh my god! Okay, and then there's um uh this cute little farm and poetry. I'm just glad he's out of here so I can focus. Man, he talks like a lot, and and you know what I mean. And this is really pretty. I love this. This would be really cute in some kid in a kid's kit, but it's blue. It's going in there. And I love this image. Oh my God. Responsibilities are beautiful. <laughs> but oh my God. <laughs> I learned the other day that Helen Mirren, who is, good God, maybe in her 70s or late 60s, Oh my God, Helen Mirren has the best body. She can shame some of these young 20 and 30 something year olds. And I was, uh, I heard the other day that she chose not to have children because she likes her freedom. And um, she's glad that she made that choice. And I, I just am so grateful to God above and the rainbows, of course, and Buddha and Guadalupe and Allah. And, um, yeah, all of the, those, them, um, that I have the best of both worlds. Um, I just, I, every day I'm just so, so, so grateful. Okay, guys, <clears throat> let me see if I can finish up here. And then I think what I'm going to do is stop. Um, and I've got books. I've got, let's see, what else do I have? I have, still have stuff. That's all I have to say. Anyway. Okay. So there's all that. <clears throat> Let me put all this paper stuff together here. Like a so. Hi. 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 The letters, they don't want to stay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to turn these this way. This is a fun pack. This is a really nice um, stash building pack um, as well. And the four books is just even, it's the topper. They are the topper. Okay, so now let me um, show you what else is in here. Oh, I put in some uh, navy blue navy seam binding. That's vintage. So that's really fun. I'll show you this quilt piece here in a minute. There is a hanky that is very old and well loved. There's that. It's got some little spots there. And a little moth bite. So that's really pretty. And I love this one. Oh, I remember I got this. This was from an estate sale. Oh my goodness, a long time ago. But it's got that really pretty um, dark navy blue. And little designs there. There's the back. This is so pretty. And again, that red, white, and blue, if you're doing 4th of July, or if you're just doing a blue, how about this? What if you're just doing a retro cookbook in blue and white? It doesn't have to be all yellow and red. <laughs> just saying. Even those are the traditional colors. This I put in there because I was thinking of maybe a pocket. See-through pocket that's really pretty. And I put in a large piece of that blue um, fabric that has the house, the cottage, people talking. These are a bit faded than those brown ones and or these here that I put in my stitchery, slow stitching snippet roll kits. Um, this, this fabric is really different. I'm not sure... Yeah, and I got this at a thrift store, not at the estate sale. 
I showed this to you guys already. But these kinds of colors, uh, um, not kinds of colors, this kind of fabric is what I'm trying to say, is a lot thicker. So this is the stuff that I put in my um, snippet roll slash um, slow stitching kits. Love the images of kids and the leaves. They could be cut out and stitched on. But anyway, for this blue pack, I put this a large panel of that in there. So you've got trees. You can see the, you know, you can sort of make out the images and sort of guess where you want them to go. It might be the screen artist's way of having stitchery people participate in the art itself having to fill it out so there's that piece and then this piece and this is old timey good stuff from me <laughs> um, over the years I just love 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 these florals oh these are so pretty um, and these have gone into gift packs, thank you packs. Um, I love these little uh, salmon colored flowers over here and the roses. Um, they've also gone into, um, you know, my, I think, I think those went into my stitchery box kits from way back when. So that's a lot of fun. And then these are from my great aunt, my great Amy. There's some little cattail willows. This is 100% linen, and there's another piece there, and this would be so pretty to stitch down into. I saved some of that for when I start to do my um, Journal of Stitchery book, and those are blues and grays, and then look at this, but wait, but wait, <laughs> pero esperate, look at that. This is an old pillowcase. Hmm. And it's all white. This would be so beautiful. And I think I have in the past. There were two, I'm sure. Um, I avocado dyed or coffee dyed this. I think I avocado dyed. But look, at you've got one, two, three, four, five stitchy uh, panels. And it's an old pillowcase with the sort of a wavy edging there. And it's just stark white. So there's that. That's fun. And now I won't forget that quilt piece under there. Hold on, guys. Okay. And then we've got this pretty sheer piece here. And this was this was something that it was um like it wasn't a scarf or anything like that. This was something that um from a bolt of fabric. And I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. And then this is a pretty beautiful silky piece. Um almost like that pink from the ladies um um the state sale but this guys i don't know if i got this from there i think i did this came from that from the estate sale as well and i just left the the edges sort of ragged like she had cut it out that's what i was saying that she was making a lot of things but there's a good deal of it here this is really pretty so there's that blue and these are things I added recently to this whole pile of blue themed <laughs> journaling kit there's some blue gingham there's a lot of that it would be pretty for 4th of July or again retro cooking cookbook kind of thing farmhouse there's quite a bit of it there this did not end up, obviously, in the, the fabric packs. And then there's some smaller gingham here. And she was making something here. There are some pieces already cut out, but I put it in there because I think this would be good tabs. 
um, or journaling um, uh, toppers, that kind of thing. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, this is so pretty. I think she cut this out. Look at this. Let me show you guys. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that be pretty to, to stitch on? I think she cut this out of something. She liked, maybe liked these, these uh, bouquets of, of florals and little tiny florals and cut that out. So there's a good deal of that in there. That's really pretty. And, <clears throat> oh, and there's some of that ticking that's in the fabric um, scrap panels scrap fabric panels and that's more like a seersucker kind of ticking and then this is really pretty stuck that in there she was making something and cutting something up from that too isn't that beautiful very soft very um very pastel -y. um and then this piece I put in there um, because I thought, I think I should cut probably this part off. Um, I thought that this was really nice for, again, tabs or, I don't know, you could do like a little page or, or even cut out the little patterns for stitching as well. So I put that in there. The flowers are blue. It's kind of a navy blue and white, but there wasn't that much of that in there. And then this blue jean. <laughs> piece that keep we keep going back to that red white and blue um this is really pretty i love this this is really nice and um these are all new pieces i added since that the estate sale my mom and i went to and then, of course, now I'm getting back to the original stuff that I put in here when I first started um, curating this kit. Um, this is an old, beautiful hanky. Very pretty with these light, light, light blue edges. You barely can see um, the blue in them because it's so light. It's such a light blue. Um, goes really nice with this hanky, I think. And again, I think it would be so cool to create a retro a book uh cooking or whatever um in blues and whites um and there's a piece of my old you guys have seen this before my old lace there and then this is um a piece of the bl light blue and and pretty floral pattern uh, pieces that I put in the thank yous for those who bought my snippet roll slash slow stitching kits. I put a nice um, piece of this in their um, thank you packs. And this is gorgeous. It's linen and it's very, very light blue, very pastel blue, but lots of stitchy um, places. And then this is really old. In fact, I have a journal I think it's packed from Marcia at then and there. Um, yeah, it's packed up. I believe that I put I used some of this in in the journal that um, she made for me. And um, this is a really pretty blue. This is old. I've had some of this. Oh, I've had this for a long time. And if you've been around long enough with me, you'll you'll remember that. And then this um, was in some of the fabric textile um, packs that I created and put together. And that's really pretty. I just stuck that in there because I just like that gray and that muted neutral um, ivory color. Oh, and this. Oh my God, I love this so much. I um, uh, black bean dyed this and it didn't take hundred percent like I wanted it to but it does have a very faint light blue hue this is old lace mid-century 
place and there's a lot of it there lots and lots and lots and I uh, black bean dyed it <laughs> but this lace is really I don't know it just I don't know it, it, it won't really take it's not synthetic it's old oh my goodness I, I remember as a kid um, my um, dad's mom had this kind of tablecloth and then I black bean dyed this and it's a really pretty smoky blue I just, you know, we eat a lot of black beans around here, and um, I just dyed it, took the water off the beans after they sat in there for a while, and um, crumbled this beautiful, gorgeous piece up, and stuck it in the bean dye, and there are some of the hues. And I've got Val at Pumpkin Patch. I got a nice pack going out to her um, of black bean dyed paper. And I would show it to you. Um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's here. I know it's here. But I don't know where it is right now. And then there's a thank you note in blue. And a pretty creamy ivory color. And there's some silvery, um, there's some note cards there. There's a little sleeve cut off. I have, guys, it says blue calico is why it's in there, but. I had a bunch of doll um, pieces, you know, like this stuff, doll pattern pieces, dress cut. And um, I just took this little piece because I will never, ever, ever um, use these. But I put it in there because it said blue calico. And then here's a little felt piece. That's old felt. That's not new. And this blue and brown woodland kind of feel. This, I, I think this would be really fun to put on the spine of a journal. Um, whatever kind of journal. I think it would just be really pretty to put on the spine of a book. And then, but wait. Then there's this. And you've seen this before. There is a big piece of this in here. This is definitely textile-y and thick upholstery. Um, and it's it's really pretty too. So we get into the wintry kind of things. And then lastly, one last piece of... Oh, I'm not done. Of this rayon um, polyester piece again. Remember, there's a piece in here, I think. So I just put in another extra, extra, extra. Um, another hanky. Two more hankies that are really old. That's why I could have turned this into two kits, but I don't feel like it. I don't have the time. So this might be a good opportunity. Oh, I love this. Talk about a beautiful, regal, stately hanky that's navy. It's gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. That would be really cool in a guy book, perhaps. Or girl book, or whatever. Very, very, very stately piece there. Very, very um, red, white, and bluey. And then um, this old piece, and again, you've got the two other hankies here that are old. There's lots of old hankies in here that are blue and white um, that are just fun and pretty. And then there's some cards, three of swords, and there's a car card, and yeah, and then a motorcycle, and okay, and then there are some little pieces from Mrs. McDaniel's estate. And, ooh, I put something in there. What's in there? Got these two pretty blue old on these. Never used. And in this one I put, oh, an old map. Cool. All in blue. Southampton. 
Bermuda, uh, Bermuda Islands. And this is in really good condition. It opens out. So there's that. Back in there. Maybe I'll put some of these other little pieces in there. Okay, and then there are more cards in blue. Those are fun. And another little crochet ribbon piece. This is really cool for stitching in. That is what it's for, embroidery, cross stitching. So there's that. And there's that smaller piece in there that's similar to that. Oh dear, hold on. Okay, now let's see. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys. I knew somewhere in this grouping, these were some of those doll pieces, the patterns that someone, not this particular estate sales seamstress, um, but I scored these really cool pieces from that doll um, pattern set. All right, let me scoop this over. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. There is a spool of blue old wooden spool Clark's Boil Fast. There's that, and that's a really pretty blue. And then this old bead. It's blue. In case you want to just dangle just the bead, you can do that. Here is an old remnant of I don't know it's crochet or rug they stitched down into the embroidery panel but it's with um yarn maybe that's some rugging and then a blue piece of ribbon that's pretty and silky I don't know what that's from. I have no idea where I got that from, but it's really poorly. And then there is another blue hanky. Lots of hankies in here. Um, <clears throat> this one has a little oil stain right there, perhaps where the sticker was. You know, when the stickers are really old and it's got some yellowing here and here. But isn't that beautiful? That would be pretty stitched down into these roses. You could share that with someone. It's vintage. It's old. So makes the piece that you're working on all the more yummy. And then this I put in there. This is contemporary, but... I put it in there because the this book does have a little color and then remember that little yellow piece I put in there so this is a really pretty um, sort of a stormy sky blue background with all these vibrant flowers and pieces on there so in case you want to do something that's springtime and flower e lots of different um, beautiful patterns unusual patterns so there's that and then I put in a lot of buttons lots and lots and lots and lots of lots of blue buttons and these are these are old they're old and skanky pretty <clears throat> some have shanks on them These are, oh, these are so pretty. Look at these teal ones with that black in there. Those are pretty and rustic. I love this one, though. That one's really pretty. And this one. And this one. That one reminds me of my great-grandmama. She wore dresses with those kinds of buttons, and that one is really old. It's still got the thread in there. There's some little ones. Whoops. Uh-oh. There's a getaway. Where'd it go? <laughs> I'll find it. I'll find it, guys. It's in here. It'll, it'll, I'm going to put the um, thread and the um, 
the spool and the bead in here as well. And then, oh, look at the tatting. Pretty. I think I had some of this in my snippet rolls slash slow stitching kits. So that's just a lovely piece. That is so beautiful. Hand tatting. Hand tatted. And then this piece of linen is it's just stunning. Regal. Stately. Mmm, the quality. Beautiful. Love that. And there's a big ass brooch. It's huge. It's a big one. <laughs> So there you go. Love that on the front cover of a something. Big brooch. And let's see what else. Here is a little emblem. Looks like a little tiger. I don't know what you what this would be, but it's an earring. An old a uh, hook earring. And that came probably from some of that jewelry I showed you guys that I got. <clears throat> I definitely wouldn't want something looking like that hanging from my ear or on my ear at all. Excuse me. Oops, sorry, guys. I just finished eating. I'm always eating. Okay, and then more little scrap pieces. These are great. Make great tabs. Great. Um, just pieces all the way around. And then, let's see. Oh, and then there's some of that pretty um, organza. Uh, pieces that I also put in my thank you packs to the ladies who bought my snippet roll slash stitching uh, uh, stitchery kits. Sli snippet roll slash slow stitching kits. And that's got a little light pastel yellow. This is so pretty. I love this. Look at this design here. The little knots. Just gorgeous. I love that so much. I was so happy when I got that. And then, yes, another hanky. <laughs> it's all about the blue. This is cute. Look at this. More organza. And it's just on that one corner. But look how pretty that is. I love the little stains there and there. Oh, that's, I'm sorry. That's not stains there. That's my cell phone where I dropped it. <laughs> it's got a bruise. <laughs> um, I never drop my cell phone ever, but it happened. There's a first for everything, right? My husband is the king of dropping cell phones. The king of that. I've had this, my cell phone, oh my God. Yeah, you, you don't even want to know how long. Love these edgings here around. And then there's that part of it. I love these. I love old hankies. There's a lot of hankies in here. You can share some, some with somebody. And then these I thought were fun and pretty. Blue buttons on a card. The original card. There's three of them. And there's the 411. Made in Thailand. And just some wool um this came out of something that was i think it was that doll making thing a uh, pattern that it came out of but i put that in there for fun because that makes really nice toppers as well tag toppers and then i put in some blue lined paper because i just thought you know if you're doing a journal um having some blue line um paper is just fun and this is a long the long style and I've used several pieces of it before so there's that and there's the other page to the marble page Ta-da! the last thing and I love this yellow this is what sort of um, influenced these colors here this book and then this yellowing here influenced me to sort of you know tie that in somehow or another Okay, and then lastly, so let me put this here. Take all of these goodies out. I You can tell that this was just, I just threw things in over time. And then whenever I, you know, purchased some things recently from um, 
sale estate sales then i just come home and say oh that's a blue i got a blue kit going or a blue and just throw it down in there and let it accumulate um and then it turns out to be really pretty here's the other side of that blue marbled paper there's some handwriting there open is blank this ledger i'm not sure what that says but yeah i could figure it out but i don't have time for that right now <laughs> no time okay so and i'll probably wrap this these up as a, as a book as well or as sort of like you know like this okay so the last part of this is hold on let me show you guys this gorgeous um and then this will be the final video for part one I don't know, let me get this out while I'm talking. I don't know when I'm going to be able to come back, but I've got some amazing books um, to show you guys. There's the button. We found it. It was the one runaway. Um, I've got some amazing, um, some amazing uh, books to show you. Um, so you can look forward to that. This is an old quilt, um, and it's just so pretty. And it's got pink. It's a large panel. It's got batting in there, the old stuff, not the new stuff. And you see the old stuff? Don't we love that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then on this side, it's got this pretty, I don't know what you call that, a wedding ring? I think or maybe I'm wrong I don't know guys really honestly I don't know I'm just guessing but you know sometimes I hear things about quilts I have no I come from quilters mostly my grandmother and my great-grandma were quilters my aunt was more she did you know she, she did more clothes they were they were just so different but my great-grandmother was the throwback to everything um, about this kind of stuff um, but I don't, you know, I don't know very much about quilting. I don't really, honestly, I don't know anything about quilting. But I do know that um, when there are some phrases and terms that have lived with me, like, for forever. Um, but then I hear you guys talking about different things. And so, I don't know, is that a wedding ring or is it a, what is it? I have no idea. But I do love that it's got these stitches around the edges here and here. I got to go let my my smoky man in. He's outside. The door's closed now because it's cold. It was really sunny and nice and warm today, but it's cold again. So I got to go let him in. They can open the door. They just can't open the hard the hardwood door. So yeah. That's it, guys. So I'm going to put this all back into here and wrap that up nicely like a suit. And then I will um, put all these goodies in separate bags. Look at those cute buttons. Aren't those cute? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not sure <laughs> about that. And then all these goodies and one, two, three, four books. Oh, excuse me, five books. I'm wrong. So you've got three book covers and two complete books. Okay, so anyway, um, this is all one um, journaling kit. I think it is amazing to share. I think it is awesome to curate from, make your own kits, you know, um, whatever you want to do. This um, uh, pack, I am, what did I say for this one? This one is $58, okay. So, um, and that includes shipping. So that's a good deal. And, um, yeah, um, I will be back. I don't know when that's what I was trying to say. I'll be back because, um, yeah, work and I love it and am having a blast. Um, so I will say goodbye for now. This is part one, part two, maybe in two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. I'm not sure. But I have some beautiful books to show you and some other really cool things as well. Um, if you're interested in any of these pieces, just holler at me. My email is down below. Um, and this is PayPal only. You don't have to have a PayPal account to, to purchase. Um, just an email where I can send you the invoice um, via PayPal. And a really good mailing address is always helpful.
okay all right guys i'll put more information if i forgot anything i'll put it um in the description box below and i think that's it i hope to see you guys soon bye adios sale pues orderly pues Mwah. Guys, I had to show you quickly, and I'll insert this in here somewhere. So I'm still um, cutting fabrics. And um, before I cut up these pieces, I wanted to show you what I plan to do with, there's some, a lot of yellow pieces. And these are pieces that we got, vintage yellowing pieces, yellowed pieces. They're patina, and there's foxing, and, you know, all kinds of old evidence <laughs> that they're old um marks on them and so anyway what i'm gonna do because i did put some of some, like i cut some of this up in the fabric um panel scrap pack and so what i'm gonna do with this one though is i'm gonna stamp some stuff and then cut it up um yeah look at all that foxing right there I don't know if I if I'm gonna put the video where my mom and I were we went it was a while ago uh, this year it was I think early January maybe I don't know I have to look back and see but beautiful gorgeous pieces of linen and this particular um, family they lived in the house you'll see from the videos I think I'll post the video first of us shopping around me mostly shopping around and my mom um, looking around when we first get there but she had some beautiful fabric she was a seamstress and i showed a little uh like a i don't know like a little clip of the stacks of folds of fabric that i that i got from from this estate sale anyway my point is in putting this little clip in is that i'm gonna take advantage of the beauty of this i haven't watched it i haven't none of this has been laundered um, but I'm going to take advantage of these beautiful spots in the aging and the yellowing and the foxing and the, um, you know, just all the, the prettiness of it and stamp on it. Um, so I think this will be really pretty to use and I'm not sure what stamps I'm going to use. Um, we'll see how it goes. Smokey, he's scratching his bed to sleep if you hear. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> Whenever he's making that noise, guys, that means he is preparing his bed to be knocked out. He's so precious, guys. My little best and hound. He's so old, too. He's 13. Anyway, okay. I just had to share that with you guys. So I'm going to stamp all over this, and then I'm going to cut it up and add it to the... What am I calling these? I'll probably say it before. I don't know where I'm going to put this video in, but... I'm calling them Eclectic Vibrant. This is what I wrote down so far. Eclectic Vibrant Springfield Scrap Fabric Panels. Can you hear all the... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get those consonants in there. Anyway, I had to show you guys the foxing and old, beautiful vintage. This lady, I even had some... Um, what do you call this? Hound's Tooth? So when I say eclectic, there's going to be a lot of spring pieces in here, but this is old stuff, guys, really from the 70s. It reminded me of my great aunt's house, but my great auntie's house and her sewing supply, um, all the sewing stuff I inherited from her. But this particular seamstress did not have a lot. She had some polyester, but it wasn't that much. It was just flowers and all sorts of patterns, just so many different patterns. So, um, this fabric pack, it's, it's eclectic. That's all I have to say. There's a lot going on in it. Um, and I'm going to sell these probably by themselves. I haven't laundered them, but they're just beautiful and they're old and, oh my gosh, like a hundred percent cotton, linen just beautiful pieces so anyway there's a pile of that okay okay guys i'll say goodbye um but i don't know when i i better not say goodbye because at the end of the video will be goodbye um so i'll just say stay tuned <laughs> bye